possible for couples, for like parents to come to their own agreement as to how much child support they would um, uh, give each other uh, in the event of a divorce. So, so uh, can can you have a private mm. agreement to that? In So uh, the question is, do you have or can your marriage contract or cohabitation contract um, discuss child support? Generally, that's not done in Canada. Doesn't mean it hasn't been done, but it's not generally the practice. Hmm. And that's because our child support is very context specific mm -hmm. to what the child's needs are at the time. And it doesn't matter what contract you sign and when, if especially if when you make an agreement and it turns out to be insufficient, a court in Canada or the courts have been very clear, they will override it and just decide it at the time. So Generally in Canada, we do not put anything regarding future children or children who are not born yet in marriage contracts. That can be done and is commonly done in the United States. So possibly the person who asked the question was familiar with the American system. The American mm -hmm. system has a much more creative and robust contract system. Their marriage contracts can include children that have never been born, um, they're, they're much more, uh, it's much different than in Canada and Canada, it's not really done. Just one more question about the cohabitation agreement or the marriage agreement, which just popped in my head. Um, these agreements are not like set in stone, right? I mean, so this, I mean, you could like review them every year with your spouse, like say, while wow, you're still happy with each other. <laughs> so, uh, a marriage contract or cohabitation agreement is considered a valid separation, uh, excuse me, a valid contract. Right. However, yes, you can include terms for review oh. at any time. Often, what Laura and I see in our practice is people have created cohabitation agreements or marriage contracts 20 years before right. they actually end up separating. Yes. And what they contemplate back then just doesn't make sense now. Yeah. And so you can agree to override it or change it when you are separated. Oh, right, because by, if uh, when it comes time to separate, then you can always come come together and do a separation uh -huh. agreement, which is... That's right. Right, that makes sense. Uh